Hey YouTube, it's Mike from Overland USA. I'm driving out to Marengo Ridge to film a stove segment where Mark and I do a who's bigger bit about stoves. All right, stay tuned. And don't forget, don't forget, 90% of you bastards are not subscribed. That's right, 90% of you people watching are not subscribed. So hit that freaking subscribe button right freaking now. Hey, stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Mike and Mark, Overland USA, and we're out here in Marengo Ridge, uh, going to do a uh, cook stove comparison. So Mark will start with uh, his stoves. So this is the first grill I bought when I started camping again. It's a Weber Smoky Joe, um, obviously a charcoal kettle grill. Um, I actually don't like it at all, um, so I stopped using it after about three times out. The, the main reason being is uh, packing it, you have to strap the lid on. It's very unstable on these legs. It will just fall over in the back of the truck and you have to um, cover it with something because it gets really greasy and dirty on the outside. So I wouldn't recommend it, especially... But some people like cooking on charcoal, right? They do. I like Weber products, but just not a fan of that one. So the next one is the Blackstone. So the nice thing about this is it has a cast iron griddle um, with a single burner so you know you don't get dual zones although it is a bit cool around the corners and then it has a side burner as well um, i really like this there's a few things it's it's very big especially with the handles on uh, it's pretty heavy but this is removable so it does make it easier to move it around although it also means you have to strap this down when it's in transit because otherwise it will just fly off um, this is about 200 bucks, but it's really nice if you want to be able to cook breakfast because uh, it's a, a decent sized area to cook for two or three people. And the next one is the Everest Summit. Uh, this is very similar to the Coleman grill. Um, I think it's about $120. Um, I really like this. One of the best things about this, you've got really fine uh, gas control. A lot of the two burner stoves, you you know, they don't work well on low heat and stuff. Um, before I bought the Blackstone, I was trying to use this as a griddle, but it's really not big enough. I mean, I cook breakfast for two people uh, and there's not enough space. And also there's just this channel here for all the grease, whereas the Blackstone has a, uh, a grease trap on the back. So everything flows off there. But, you know, if I want something light that will do everything to take with me on the trip, this is generally what I take because it's, uh, it's a great, grill you just don't have the the cast iron unless you take something like this okay the next one uh, I mistakenly bought on the advice of a friend because his mother had one <laughs> what I was actually looking for was something at home to sear steaks on my last big grill had a sear burner uh, and I currently have a Weber Q420 and it really doesn't get hot enough to do a good sear whereas this gets up to a thousand degrees it's a single burner um, I think it's about $120 or something, um, but I really don't like it. Um, you know, single burner doesn't give you much control. Um, it's really big and heavy for the, the size, for the amount of cooking area, and also the controls on the outside. So every time you're carrying it, um, or it's in transit, these are getting dinged, so they're probably gonna get broken. So I'm actually gonna give this one away because I, I really don't use it anymore at all. This is Nomad Grills, they're a fairly new company out of Texas. And what I like about this is it stows fantastically for storage. Um, probably weighs about 20 pounds. And the outside stays reasonably cool. I mean, so far this has never got above about 200 degrees, even when the coals inside are about 800. Um, so essentially you just unhook this, open up this, and this is a magnetic grate, so it doesn't fall off. Uh, when it's in transit and you can get a second grate here so you can double the cooking area uh, it has vents at the bottom here on the left and the top here on the right 
and Nomad also produced their own charcoal. They're like charcoal logs and it's a, a really nice grill. It cools down in about half an hour um, to where it's you know 100 and something degrees and you can safely put it away uh, in the truck. But you know it's good, big enough to cook for two people if you need to cook steaks or something for four with the second grill. Uh, the second grate with it open you could easily cook for four people uh, and it has a built-in thermometer here. And then finally the trusty jet boil. Uh, the only thing I use this for is if I just want to boil some water to make a cup of coffee in the morning something like that and I don't want to pull out you know the bigger stove and a gas tank this is just super convenient just to boil enough water to make a pot of coffee. Hey YouTube so this is the uh, jet boil genesis system it um it uses the standard one pound propane bottles and it the best thing about it is that it folds up into a single container so i'm going to demonstrate that for you it's it's about four hundred dollars so it's a little pricey but it is super convenient and it is a full-blown um, camp stove. Packs away in a nice little package. Um, and it's, it's good for camping, two burners. Next, we got a trusty Coleman. I forgot how much I paid for this, somewhere between $50, $75. Uh, used it like a number of times. It, um, it just works fine. It's good for car camping. It's nice and light. And it also packs up really well. Boom. Done. So on my trailer, I have a partner stove and this one it, the thing I like about this is that it's uh, handmade each individual unit and it's made in America it's made in Idaho I believe or Utah it's a two burner stove hooks right to the propane that's mounted on my trailer and it's just nice, all stainless steel easy to clean comes apart real fast uh, for cleaning but man, the biggest reason that I got this is because it's the only stove that would fit in the drawer in this trailer. Not even the Coleman would fit in there. So I had to get this. Um, cost is about 400 bucks. So camp stoves are a highly personal choice, right? Um, how much space do you have? How much weight can you carry? Uh, are you car camping? Are you backpacking? You know, and how much do you want to spend? Um, these these stoves, I think the top here was like four hundred and something dollars. No, the Nomad. How much is that? Five ninety nine. Oh, five ninety nine. <laughs> so Mark wins because yeah. he spent the most amount of money. Well, it's, it's standardized aluminium. It's, uh, small companies and new design. Um, I, I think it's great. I mean, the aesthetics as well as the functionality. Yeah, it's really nice looking stove. It is. And. Um, and it's charcoal yeah. so not only you have to carry the stove but you have to carry the charcoal right yep. and then how do you dispose of the charcoal it burns <laughs> it burns to nothing <laughs> well to ash and then you just dispose of it in the okay. trash or, i mean yeah it's biodegradable right you could yeah dig a pit and dump it so in the like i said it's a personal choice you know are you backpacking are you hiking are you uh car camping uh do you have a big rv and you're just cooking outside uh and again about how much you want to spend so uh Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.